all kinds of dirt on the road here comes and goes drag the rear brake a little bit keep in line especially if there's gravel like that and you're a little worried about it just drag the rear brake through it as you turn what a day incredible day man I wish I could just stop and enjoy it instead of working just testing it, just kidding. And I lock there, dirt there. Usually kick in the rear end I lock. Very, very rarely on this bike have I kicked in the front unless I wanted to or it was extreme braking. Six feet tranny, wet clutch. I've used the clutch on this bike to a fair degree and I've never had fade, I've never had any indication it's getting hot, you know, and it goes away a little bit. That has never happened on this bike yet, and I don't expect it to. You know, the, this bike being lower to the ground certainly helps it handle better than the 800 as well as, of course, the 19-inch front wheel. Seat height is uh, 32.3 inches, I think. It's well over two inches lower than the F800 GS, and that's with the stock conventional seat. Now, there is a lower seat option, which lowers it uh, exactly one inch, I believe. And as well as that, BMW was uh, talking up another option they have. Basically, it's I'd equate it to factory suspension, a way to lower your suspension. A dealer can do it for you. It will cost a little bit, but they've planned on it so that they could do a really nice factory type job in a dealership to lower your suspension. They didn't get into the details of what it took. So there's two options there. On the F800, if you're shorter, you want the lower seat, period. On this bike, however, if you're shorter, you possibly can get away with the stock seat just fine. That's our findings with Tim. And uh, so, pretty big difference in the two bikes as far as that goes. Exact same seat, though. Just rides lower. I guess while we're speaking of the seat, let's get to it on the seat. The seat is my least favorite part of this bike by 10 times over. Uh, the seat, it's a one hour to two hour seat. If you're gonna commute and get off, get on later and commute and get off, you're okay. If you're gonna travel, this seat will drive you nuts. It's firm, which is really good for the 800 when you ride it off road. And by the way, the 800, you're standing up so much, you don't notice the seat as much. On this bike you do. Dirt here, let me get through this. But the seat is so firm that given that with its shape, it doesn't spread the load at all. It's like two pressure points from your butt no matter how you sit, and that eventually is going to get sore. Once it does, you keep changing positions, that gets sore, and it gets worse and worse and worse. And uh, rear back, we're kicking in hard there. And I lock front, no. You know, in addition to the seat, I was trying to think if there's anything else that I know I don't like about this bike. And uh, nothing really comes to mind. I didn't like the handlebars at first. Rotated those back ever so slightly, and they came into their own. I like them now. What I like most about the bike, probably the steering. I really like the steering. 
in pretty much every condition. Amazingly, I find myself saying I like the suspension after that because it's always been well behaved and controlled no matter what I've done with it. Didn't expect that at all with this bike. Impressed by that actually. I want to look well ahead, avoid all the stuff in the road, particularly on my inside right now. The mirrors could be better, uh, they work good, but they just cut off part of your view. They should have a larger view. Uh, that would just be better. The center stand, boy, I certainly want the center stand, but it takes a bit of effort to get it up on the center stand. There's not a lot of leverage standing on the stand itself, and there's no good pulling point that makes it easy to pull the bike up. It's a little bit awkward. Headlights really good, high beam's excellent, low beam is very good. Controls are adjustable with those little black plastic pieces BMW uses. They're just not as adjustable range-wise as most or that I would like. I mean, I have the clutch engaging pretty far out, farther than I like it because that's as much as I can get it in with the adjusters. Just little nitpicking things. funny, I was saying the bike vibrates, but that's not on my list of what I don't like. I just guess I ignore it. Um, some bikes you can do that, some you can't as easily. Wish it had a bigger fairing to cut the wind. Other than that, um, it's very comfortable. Tall riders, it's a little bit of a slight tight knee bend, but just fine. Um, quite comfortable. Except for that darn seat, hour after hour, it's a nice place to sit. Really like the uh, Trift computer, gives you good info. Love the uh, thermometer, it's helped keep me alive in the last two weeks because I've been in nasty situations and I know what's going on, I know when that weather kind of clears, what to expect. Been very helpful. There, right, I just got a neutral, that was me. I also like the, the brakes that I didn't expect to like. I mean, you pull them quite hard, and sometimes it says you can feel the line expanding or something slightly, um, but it still stays really controlled, and therefore I like them. So this is your more budget, more street, where the GS and this is not just a commuter bike, this is a do-anything bike and a lot of fun at that. You know, I just slid the front and then the rear off of some dirt in that corner, I mean, the bike didn't care. You know, of course there's an extreme case of that, but stepping out and the wheels sliding over some stuff, once again I said it's that GS character it does have shining through. So it makes it so good everywhere.